hi everyone i hope everyone are safe so coming back to the step we are talking about setting up an azure devops environment so to set up the azure devops environment the following things are necessary so we have to uh, have a repository and build pipeline release pipeline and service connection so let's go with uh, step by step so first thing we'll create a project and then we'll clone the repository to local and then we will actually create a build pipeline release pipeline and service connection uh, the reason why we need a service connection with azure uh, is we would like to create a vm and uh, we would like to go things and uh, install tomcat in uh, in the azure vms everything so to have access to this following things uh, we would definitely need here uh, connection to azure subscription so that's the reason why we actually create service connection here so i created a, a project with tomcat ado azure you can go ahead and create a project here you can type your project name and give a description if you'd like to and you can make it public or private i made it private i choose version control as gate and you can create the project so once the project has been created you will get into the project and you can see the overview there you go go inside the azure repos the first, the second thing was creating uh, cloning the repo to local workstation so for that we'll go inside the azure repos now if you see there is uh, to clone your computer the first thing which you'd see is a link for that you copy it and go inside powershell ensure that you are installing git in your machine so the next thing which we do is git clone and i just paste the url so whatever i have copied from this so that would clone the repository the tomcat is repository is inside this now let me add a git ignore file into this so I just open the folder and I have added a git ignore file inside that. Now if I type ls, now you'd see git ignore. So let me actually add it and commit. Now I'll push it. So I'm pushing that uh, changes to this uh, HO repository. So if you can actually refresh the page, you would be seeing not a git ignore. So we have set up the repository where we have connected our local uh, machine to the remote repository. So this is done. The next thing is we have to go and build a, uh, create a build pipeline. Let's go and do that. So for that, I'm going inside Azure DevOps. And in that, I'm going into pipeline section. I'll go ahead and create a pipeline. For the ease of explanation and everything, I'm going and using the classic editor. We can go ahead and use YAML scripts and everything. So here, as my repository is in Azure repos, so I'm choosing Azure repos uh, as it. If in case your uh, uh, repository is in GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket, you can choose the other necessary things here. So I'm going and choosing that and here as it is uh, a the var it's a maven it's a java project I'm choosing this maven here and I'm applying it so as of now I would not like uh, to use any of these tasks at this need of the server so I'm actually disabling all the task if you can see I'm just disabled it so you can enable it and you can disable it or you can even delete it i'm just disabled it and saving it this comment is useful in terms of checking the history of the pipeline so here i'll go ahead and save it so build pipeline has been created so yes as we go along we have to add 
um, the tasks in the pipeline build pipeline release pipeline we'll go ahead and do that things but as of now uh, we have created a build pipeline then we'll create a uh, release pipeline so how to go and create a release pipeline in the same azure devops environment you go inside releases and you click on new pipeline here as of now we are not deploying anything so i'll create a click on an empty job and i'll say this as prod environment and i haven't added any task in it yet so and i'll go ahead and create uh, i'll select an artifact so the source build should be from this ci so if you can actually see the build pipeline is this in fact you wanted to change the name of it you can go ahead and you can go ahead and edit the pipeline here name so i'll actually name it as build pipeline one then i'll go inside the releases that is in this tab i'll select here the source build is build pipeline 01 i would always want the latest version of artifact so i'm going and selecting it the next thing which i would like to see is i would like to enable the continuous deployment trigger so whenever there is an artifact immediately i would like the deployment the release to be happening and i'll go ahead and i'll save this so i haven't at uh, enabled continuous trigger here so i will definitely uh, so we can actually enable continuous trigger here going inside the pi build pipeline and inside the trigger section you can enable it and I'm saying whenever there's any changes in this master, then you can actually go ahead and do it. So here it, I'm going and saving it. So the release pipeline is also done. So let's go ahead and create service connection. So to create a service connection, it is you need to go inside project settings. Inside project settings, you can see in the pipeline section, service connections. So I'll go ahead and create a service connection here and I'm selecting Azure Resource Manager as it. I'm clicking on next. So here I'm actually choosing service principle as manual. I'm going to click on next. Now it is going to ask me the subscription ID, subscription name, service principal ID and everything. So let me tell you how I'll do that. So I'll go inside an Azure portal and uh, I'll go inside Active Directory. To create an application, you either have to be a global administrator or an application administrator. So, so I'm going inside app registrations to register an application which can go and interact with Azure subscription. So here I am creating an application here. So I'm naming it as test ADO Tomcat Tomcat ADO Azure app. So I'm just create, create, gave a name for that and I'm selecting this uh, icons. Uh, so let me actually see that, show that. So once that is done, I created, I'm selecting this single tenant and as of now, I'm not giving any redirect URL as such. So I'm going and registering the application. So the application is registered. You can go inside certificates and create a client certificate here 
i would actually go and say specific date so i'm actually choosing the client secret to be only valid for one day so the next thing which you have to immediately do is take the value and you have to copy it to the clipboard so i'm actually copying it here then i'm going into the overview and i'm actually taking client applica application id so next thing which i have to give is i have to give access to this so and so application to edu subscription so i'll go inside this subscription it's a free trial i go into access control iam so i'm going and click in role assigning a role so i'm assigning a contributor role here now the app is test tomcat ado Azure. If you have to search it in the, with the proper right name, you would be able to find the app. You select it, and I gave the contributor role to it. If you have the subscription, so I'm saving it. So right now, uh, the application will be able to create the uh, resources in a subscription. That's what it is. So then go to overview. Take the subscription ID. In case you get confused, like we'll add it sub ID, app ID, secret, and then we would like to take a name. So here, as it is name is free trial, I am going and just copying that sub name. So then I go into Active Directory and I take the tenant ID. So now let's go back to the uh, Azure uh, DevOps where we are creating a service connection. Here I just mentioned the scope level as subscription. Environment is in uh, Azure Cloud. So here I would like to get the subscription ID. Subscription ID is this. I pasted here. Then it is a free trial. Copy it and I pasted the subscription name here. Then as the service principal ID, the service principal ID is nothing but the app ID. I took it here and the service principal key is nothing but a secret. You might can have certificate. Then you can need to generate a certificate there. I have just created a secret go and take the secret here and I paste it here then I take a tenant ID where I would actually I was having the tenant ID so I pasted it there now I'll go and check verify I'm verifying it so verification is successful so it is able to this application is able to go and access this subscription now I'll name it as service connection one so I want to grant access to all the pipelines which are there in this subscription so I'm verify I'm clicking verify and it is being saved so I have this so we are done with creating a service connection so let's create an Azure VM and ARM template in the next video Stay tuned and you can always play, uh, can subscribe. Please feel free to drop comments and we'll definitely come with a video in next one to two weeks.